so here is another question on projectile motion with angular projection so here it is given show that there are two values of time or two time instants for which the projectile is at the same height from the ground also show that the sum of these two time instants it is equal to the time of flight of the projectile okay <clears throat> so let us try to understand the question so we have let's say a projectile and let's say it is launched at a certain projection angle theta okay so we all know it will undergo a parabolic trajectory reach a certain maximum height and then uh, you know move downwards and finally reach the ground level so this whole uh, journey of the projectile can be divided into two parts first the upward journey let's say this point is o this the peak point we call it p and this point where it finally touches the ground it is q so o p q so the first part of the journey is the upward journey o q from o to q uh, o to p sorry o to p the peak height the maximum height this and the downward journey from p to q and it is uh, you know it is symmetric on either side let's say we call this uh, m okay so on either side of this uh, dividing line pm it is symmetrical so let's say at any time instant uh, let me use a different ink okay let me uh, at any particular time instant the projectile is at this height okay h1 at time t1 okay and then it went on achieving the peak height and then it came here okay this height is also h1 because during its upward journey it was at this point and again during the downward journey it came to the same level the same distance or height above the ground similarly let's say this is a time instant t1 and this is a time instant t1 dash let's say okay similarly let's say another point here this at this point when the projectile was at this height above the ground let's say this height is h2 and this is at time t2 let's say okay and again this is during the upward journey and again during the downward journey it came to the same level okay h2 both the heights are same this is let's say at t2 dash this x axis is not the time i'm just pointing it out here so there will be many number of points time instants for which on either side of this symmetric distribution projectile will be at the same level on either side one during the upward journey and one during the downward journey another example let's say here okay here this is let's say h3 this height so again during the downward journey it will come to the same level back h3 let's say this is a time instant t3 and this will be a time instant t3 dash so what we have to prove is that during the upward journey the time instant at which it was at the same level and the time instant at which it came back to the same level during the downward journey the what is the value of these two time instants we have to show it mathematically okay graphically you know diagrammatically we have shown it here that there are two points existing on the projectile trajectory at which it is at the 
same height from the ground. One is during the upward journey, other is during the downward journey. Now what we have to show, the second part, is the sum of these two time intervals, whether it is T1 plus T1 dash, T2 plus T2 dash, or T3 plus T3 dash. These all, they are equal to the time of flight of the projectile that we have to show. Okay, so we can add a subscript to make it more valid. This is T1 during the upward journey U and this T1 dash, this is the downward journey D. Similarly, T3 U, T3 dash D, T2 U, T2 dash D. This is during the downward journey, this is during the upward journey. The time instance at which the projectile is at the same height from the ground. So same thing. So you can add and you know uh, modify it if you like. So now we have to show it mathematically. You have understood the whole point of this uh, question. Now we have to show it mathematically. We know that the entire projectile motion, it can be divided into two parts the x component and the y component. The respective x and y components, they can be expressed in terms of the uh, equations of motion in which every parameter, every ve vector parameter is divided into its respective x and y components. So, we are aware of this equation of motion, s is equal to ut plus half at square. So, here if we consider the y-axis. Why we are concerned with the y-axis? Because here the question is about the height of the projectile. Height means the vertical axis or y-axis. So we are interested with the y component. Again, why y? Because it is concerned with the height of the projectile. Height of the projectile means the vertical motion vertical motion. So here first we have to understand the vertical component of the initial projection velocity. So the vertical component we all know ui is equal to u sin theta. Okay. Acceleration due to gravity again it will be of two types. During the upward journey acceleration due to gravity will be acting downwards it will be always acting downwards acceleration due to gravity so during the upward journey of the projectile it will oppose the upward motion so that's why it will be negative minus g and during the downward motion of the projectile from p to q it will be you know acting in the same direction so it will be plus g okay plus g a y so this is it. So here we will take Ay equals to minus G. Then we have uh, everything else is the same. Now the vertical displacement here. Sy is equal to the height, instantaneous height of the projectile. We will call it Sy is equal to Ht, where Ht is the instantaneous height of the projectile at particular time instant t. So we'll replace everything with their respective parameters. So here we can write it as Sy is equal to Uit plus one half Ay t square or Ht is equal to U sin theta t. Ui is U sin theta minus half g t square a y is equal to minus g during the initial upward motion. So now we can write it we can simplify it that implies one half g t square minus u sin theta t plus I am writing simply h okay to avoid confusion simply h but you understand it is the instantaneous height. 
simply plus h ht i am writing it as h so that is equal to 0 okay 1 half gt square minus u sin theta t plus h is equal to 0 so if you notice this is the basic format of a quadratic equation okay a quadratic equation of the format ax square plus bx plus c okay so here a if you see this is one half gt square minus u sin theta t plus h so here a is equal to 1 by 2 g b is equal to minus u sin theta and c is equal to the height this is the equation now we have to solve it for t we have to solve it for t here we solve it for x here we are going to solve it for t the time so we know here for this equation the two values of x the two solutions they are minus b plus minus root over of b square minus 4ac by 2a this is the solution of this equation so here it will be this is here x1 and 2 okay two solutions here also similarly t1 2 is equal to minus b which means minus minus u sin theta which will be u sin theta minus minus becomes plus u sin theta plus minus root over of u sin theta square that is b square u square sin square theta minus 4 ac 4 into 1 by 2 g into h so 4 into 1 by 2 g becomes 2 g 4 into g by 2 it becomes 2 g and again multiplied with h it becomes 2 g h by 2 into a a is equal to 1 by 2 g so 2 into 1 by 2 g it becomes only g this so we have the first solution t1 is equal to u sin theta minus u square sin square theta minus 2 g h by g and the second solution t2 is equal to u sin theta plus u square sin square theta minus 2 g h by g so here it mathematically proves that there are two time instants okay there are two time instants this is the first time instant this is the second time instant for which the projectile is at the same height because we got these two solutions by solving this equation the vertical displacement equation which is for the instantaneous height of the projectile and we solve this equation to get the solutions of t what is t it is the time so these are the two time instants for which the projectile is at the same height here I showed it to you in a you know graphical way here in a mathematical way now the second part of the question which is to prove that the sum of these two time instants is equal to the time of flight of the projectile so simply let us add t1 plus t2 so we'll add t1 plus t2 so that is equal to u sin theta minus u square sin square theta minus 2 g h by g plus u sin theta plus 
u square sin square theta minus 2gh by g. So, if you see if we you know simplify it becomes u sin theta by g minus u square sin square theta minus 2gh by g plus u sin theta by g plus u square sin square theta minus 2gh by g. So, here by g ok. So, here these two will get cancelled minus and this is plus. So, we will have only u sin theta by g plus u sin theta by g that is equal to 2 u sin theta by g. 2 u sin theta by g is nothing but the time of flight of the projectile. The formula for time of flight of the projectile if you recall. So, here we have also proved that these two time instants okay, T1 and T2 for which the projectile is at the same height that is HT1 is equal to HT2. For this the sum of T1 plus T2 that is equal to the time of flight of the projectile. Okay, this we have proved. Okay, so this is the thing.